everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ella. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this really adorable bee bookmark. This is what it looks like when it's in a book. And this is what it looks like on its own. It's super cute. I saw it on TikTok and I thought I would make a pattern and tutorial for it so that other people can make it too. It's pretty simple to make and it consists of three components, the flower, the bee, and then connecting it all together. And I'll show you how to do that in today's video. So the things you're going to need for this bee and flower bookmark is for the bee, you're going to need some yellow yarn, black yarn, and white yarn. For the flower, you're going to need the same yellow yarn, and I'm using some pink yarn to make a pink flower, but obviously you can change up the colors if you want. And then to connect it, you can use whatever color you want, but I'm going to be using this green yarn. And all of this is a medium weight size 4 yarn. So for the flower, the chain, and the wings of the bee, I used a 5mm crochet hook. But because I wanted the bee to be as small as possible, I didn't want it to be too huge. I wanted it to have a tighter stitch, so I used a 3.75mm crochet hook. You're also going to need some safety eyes if you want your bee to have um, eyes, and I used the smallest set that I have. You're also going to need some polyfill. You barely need any since the bee is so tiny. I just used a little bit. Some scissors to cut your yarn. You're going to need a darning needle. And you're going to need a stitch marker. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the yellow yarn so that we can make our bee. And we're going to make a magic ring with six single crochet. Just getting my camera to focus here. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the bookmark, but I'm not going to be explaining the stitches or anything like that. Magic ring. We're going to go ahead and go into the first stitch. And we're going to increase all the way around. An increase is two single crochet in each loop. And for the increase round, I like to always just count. So I just did one. Two. And six. And of course you can also use a stitch marker if you want. So now you should have 12 stitches around and we are going to single crochet around um, for the third round. So that's 12 single crochet. Again, you can use a stitch marker if you want. I think I'm just going to count it. And 12. Okay, so now we're done our single crochet round and we are going to change to black yarn so we can make our first stripe on our bead. We're going to go into our first stitch here, go in, pull up a loop, and then we're going to grab our black yarn and pull through with the black. And just to secure it, I'm going to go ahead and do another single crochet with just the black yarn so that it secures it a little bit. So what you can do now is put a stitch marker where your first stitch is. Or you can count the round two if you want to, just count 12 single crochet. And you're going to take your yellow tail and your black tail. Go ahead and cut your yellow so that's not connected to your ball of yarn anymore. And we're just going to double knot. So like I said before, this round we're just going to be single crocheting all the way around with our black yarn. Just one single crochet 
in each stitch. Okay, so we have finished our round of single crochet all the way around, and you can see that we now have our first black stripe of the bee. So before we move on, we're just gonna go ahead and place the eyes into our bee. Like I said, I'm just using some safety eyes. I'm using the smallest ones that I have. If you want, you can completely skip this step if you don't want your bee to have eyes. I think it's cute though. You can see here, we have our magic circle. The next round is right here. We're gonna go into the stitch there. And the reason why I'm going into the stitch instead of in the gaps is because when it's in the gaps, I find that sometimes the safety eyes just fall right through. Um, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes it happens and it can get a little bit frustrating. So I like to just put it in the stitch. Okay, I've put in the first eye, and now I'm going to go ahead and put in the second one. Okay, that is what my bee is looking like. If you want to, you can probably add a smile, but I'm just going to leave it. Now I'm going to go ahead, oops, I grabbed so many here, and put on the washers. Okay, so now we have the eyes in and we're going to continue on with our beat. You'll see that right now we have a bunch of strings just hanging out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some of these shorter so that they don't get in the way when I'm trying to crochet. Especially since we have to change our yarn color a few more times after this. It can get pretty annoying to have so many strings hanging around. Um, which is why I said that changing colors with such a small project can be hard. So now we're gonna change back to our yellow yarn. The exact same way we did with the black. So have your yellow yarn handy. We're going to go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And that's like the first half of a single crochet and then we're gonna grab the yellow yarn and finish the single crochet with the yellow. Go ahead and tighten it a little bit. And to tighten it, I'm just pulling the black string tighten. And then to secure it, I'm gonna go ahead, go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. I'm gonna put my stitch marker in. It's so hard to see because it's black, but it goes right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my black yarn and tie a knot with the yellow yarn here. Okay, and this next round, again, is just plain single crochet all the way around with no increases or decreases. Okay, so we finished our yellow round. And if you want, again, you can go ahead and cut your strings so that they're not too annoying, but I'm just going to tuck them in. So now we're going to do our last black stripe. We're going to switch back to our black yarn. So just like we've been doing, you're gonna go into the next stitch and do the first half of a single crochet and then finish it with the next color. Go ahead, tighten. Do one more to secure your yarn. Place your stitch marker. And then cut this piece of yellow and then tie a knot. And this round, just like the last two or three rounds, is a single crochet all the way around. No increases, no decreases. Okay, so I finished the round and now we're going to change back to yellow for the last time. 
I don't think I have to explain it that much this time. Just changing the yarn the same way we have the last three times. This round is again just a single crochet all the way around. Okay, so now we are going to finally stop just doing single crochets all the way around and we are going to do a single crochet and then a decrease. So Single crochet in the first stitch. Place your stitch marker. And we're gonna go ahead and decrease. And then single crochet. And decrease. And you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, so we finished our decrease round. This is what the B is looking like now. And we are just going to decrease in each stitch all the way around. So, decrease. You're going to continue decreasing until you get back to your stitch marker. This is my last decrease. So this is what the bee looks like. It's a little bit long looking, but that's okay. Because we're going to fasten up, we're going to stitch it close, and it will um, make it a little bit rounder. So go ahead and take out your stitch marker if you're using one, you don't need it anymore. And we're going to stuff our bee with um, polyfill. If you want to stuff it in the round before, you can. Um, but I find that I'm able to stuff it with a hole like this. So I have this ball of stuffing. Obviously, you do not need this much. I'm going to use my hook to help me push the stuffing in. Okay, so I'm done stuffing now, and what we're going to do is fasten off and then sew the end close. So leave a bit of a tail, and to fasten off we're just going to chain one and then pull it all through. Go ahead and attach your yarn needle and we are just going to sew it closed. So to do this, um, there's only four stitches here, but you're going to go into the top loop of each stitch and pull through. So that's one, two, it's a little bit hard to tell because it's yellow, three, and then pull the yarn and it will cinch it closed. That's what the bee looks like. Go ahead and tie a knot at the end if you want. And I'm just sticking the needle through the bee. I'm pulling it through. Snip your yarn. And that is your finished little bee with the wings, and I'm going to show you how to make the wings now. 
Thanks for watching part one of this tutorial. If you would like to continue making your bookmark, check out part two. I'm sorry, there has to be two parts to this. My editing software will not allow me to post a video more than 15 minutes long. So again, thanks for watching and go check out part two.